Welcome to another Financially Fabulous episode. I'm Lee Moore, and while I'm not a financial planner, I'll show you what I've learned. Today I want to talk about the reality of living paycheck to paycheck. Come on, this will be interesting. The reality is, is that many people are actually living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to get by month by month. Earlier this year, the Financial Post did a study that said that nearly 50% of Canadians are living paycheck to paycheck. Down in the US, PR Newswire published a study that said that nearly half of Americans are also living paycheck to paycheck. So why is it that so many of us are struggling in North America and are living paycheck to paycheck? It just really baffles my mind. But really what it comes down to is mindset and financial management. Because I know people who are living paycheck to paycheck who don't look like they are and are making hefty salaries. So while it is possible to be earning thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 and be struggling because it's not enough money to really get you to live and accommodate all of your expenses, everything from housing through to personal expenses like food and cell phones and internet, but there's also a lot of folks who are living paycheck to paycheck who are making six figures. And so the question really is, it's not about how much money you make, but it's about how you're managing that money. Because even if you're only making forty or fifty thousand dollars, there's no reason why you can't be setting aside small amounts every single month in order to be able to create yourself a bit of a cushion. For people who are living paycheck to paycheck, not only are they struggling with their finances, but I'm pretty confident that they're also struggling with all of the stress and the burden of worrying about what's going to happen if they were to lose their job, if they were to fall ill. And it happens to more people than we might even expect. I know that lots of you may be struggling with this and maybe even struggling with the shame or the guilt and feeling really bad that this is the situation that you're in. Not too long ago, I was getting my makeup touched up before I went on to do a BNN interview. I'll post the link down below. And the lady who was doing my makeup and just kind of touching it all up, making sure that I looked camera ready, said to me, oh yes, and so what are you talking about today? In sort of a mundane kind of tone. And I said to her, oh, I'm on a mission to make women feel financially fabulous. It's not about cutting coupons and eating more macaroni and cheese. It's about feeling fabulous and making more money. Well, this lady leaned in looked around to make sure that no one could hear what she was saying and said to me, honestly, I could use your tips. If I get laid off, I don't even think I'll make it through the next month. Ooh, that's really scary. And that's the situation that a lot of us are in. So if you find yourself in a situation where you are living paycheck to paycheck, the first thing I want you to do is take a good hard look at your finances. It's important to understand exactly how much money is coming in the door and exactly how much money is going out the door. While at a first glance you may think to yourself, oh, but how could I give up that car or that gym membership or those fancy vacations? But if it's causing you the kind of stress that I know living paycheck to paycheck causes for a lot of folks, you may want to consider taking small steps to make sure that you have got an emergency fund and a little bit of a buffer. Because there's no point in living this lavish lifestyle, but every night when you lay your head down on your pillow, you feel this anxiety, this stress, and the shame of the fact that if something were to actually happen, you'd likely not be able to cope with it. That brings me to my tweetable today. Making more money is the answer to stop paycheck to paycheck cycle. I know, if you're in that situation, the last thing you feel like doing is cutting coupons or worrying about your budgeting even more and, and trying to cut and scrimp and save. And you know, if you've been watching my Financially Fabulous episodes for a while, that's not really the philosophy that I subscribe to. I think we should be making more money. But here is my challenge to you. If you're someone who is living paycheck to paycheck and you're ready to cut the cycle, you're ready to stop feeling guilty about the situation that you're in and start to make it better, what I need you to do is take a very careful look at your finances and see if there's some expenses that maybe aren't really serving you. I know it may not be that fun to cut your expenses, but even just for the short term until you can build yourself up a little bit of a buffer so that you start to sleep at night. And then more importantly, I'd love for you to think about how you can make even more money. Did you like this video? Did you learn something? Subscribe to my channel. It's free and share it with your friends. 
And if you want even more tips and tricks to make your finances fun and exciting, come on over to lemore.money and sign up for email updates. Remember, I'm not here to change who you are or how you live your life. I just have strategies to make you even more financially fabulous. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Till then, stay fabulous. Ooh, look at all these bills. How am I gonna cut these expenses? I know that spa treatment's gotta go. Next month, we're doing manicures and watching a movie.